What's the matter? You never seen anybody that had a super annoying Monday? Because today was that day. Today was that day all day long since the crack of dawn this morning. And today was one of a kind. It was a one of a kind Monday. And I am having a moment to myself because if I don't, then this Monday is going to blow up into something that I can't take back. And um, I'm sitting down for the first time since this morning making that wreath, which was also a problem because, well, today, so I woke up this morning, I made one video, and I decided that I was going to post that and then make the wreath and be able to post the other one before I left for work. So I did that. And then what happened was that video did not, did not upload. And I could not for the life of me understand why, because every video that I've posted prior to that was no problem at all. Pu published fine, public, normal, everything was fine. See that my face, I'll explain this to you in a second. Just hold on. So, um, I decided that I was going to take care of that, make the wreath in my completely calm Zen mode of the day. This, the only moment of the day was this morning before I left to work to get that wreath done, take a moment to take a deep breath so I could continue on with the day. I made both videos and they both locked private, which I had no idea what happened, what I did wrong. I was overanalyzing it, thinking I said something that I shouldn't have, I wasn't permitted to. I read all the rights and agreements and terms of policies and everything to YouTube. I could not for the life of me come up with a reason why this happened. I was so upset about it just because it was so annoying to me. But anyways, the whole day went like that. Like the entire day went like that. And it was all of these just annoyances that melded into this big pot of frustration. So today was extra long. I came home, I showered, I got ready for bed. I sat outside with my, my cup and I decided that I was just going to sit still, listen to the birds chirp in my pajamas after a nice hot shower to wash off this chaotic, aggravating, annoying as hell day. And I did that. And so now I came inside because my phone was dying and I was still trying to figure out why those two videos did not upload correctly, why they're both locked on to private. You didn't get the first piece that I recorded this morning. You got the second part, I believe now, anyways, um, with the finished product of the wreath. The first video was me showing you all the material out in front of me. This is a work in progress. And this is going to be something that is gonna take me some time, so please don't judge me. So now I have my, my mask on, I have my drink, I'm about to watch that TV in front of me in a few. Um, and this has been a very infuriating, aggravating day. But again, I am home now in my happy place. And I decided to put on my mask because I just wanted to feel like I was at the spa. To which I never really went to a spa more than three times in my whole life. Um, even prior to this quarantine and lockdown. So I just needed a minute and I wanted to get my skin feeling good. So I broke out my bucket from the bathroom uh, closet that I have in there with all of my face creams and things like that. And like I said, I only really shop on clearance um, and thrift stores and things like that. So I would have never purchased it for myself, but Richie had purchased um, Fab Fit Fun for me last year, and he got me the four boxes throughout the year, and I got some products in it that I haven't quite used 
very consistently, but I still really like, and I love, 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 love this purple clay mask. And it's from Generation Clay. It is ultraviolet brightening purple clay mask. It refines, brightens, illuminates, and it nurtures your skin. So, and it, it's a hot mess because this is what happens. It, it goes on purple and then it firms up and it turns white. Hence the reason why I look like a clown. So I have that and I decided to start doing it tonight because I need to treat my skin. I have, you know, really oily based skin and I sweat all day from working and doing all the things that I do. And so if I don't come home at night and treat my face, God only knows what could happen to that thing. So I have a whole little bucket here of things from FabFitFun that I've gotten over the four um, seasonal boxes that came in. And this is the Body Souffle, which I lotion with, and it smells absolutely amazing. It's from Humankind, um, and I love it, and it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. Body Souffle. I don't know if, if there's a scent on here. Um, it smells really good, but I don't know if there is an actual scent, it, but it's really soothing. It's a great smell, and I absolutely love this rose spray. I've used that quite, quite a bit, and this is from Grace and Stella. I usually um, wash my face really good. I'll take this off with like a nice hot cloth, and then I will put some spray on my face before I lay down to go to bed. Um, I really didn't like this exfoliating foot mask from uh, Wish. I Personally, it didn't do too much for me. It's really like goopy and slimy and I didn't care for it that much. So um, I used it, it's pretty much gone, but it's not something that I would look for again. Um, and this, I love this hair cream. This one's almost gone too. And I would buy this again and I do want to repurchase it. So this is from Living Proof in it. Uh, proof, proof. Proof. Living Proof. No, it's not. It's from Living Proof. And I'm tired. This Monday has really kicked my butt in like a hardcore way. And I'm exhausted. For real, for real. And I haven't even eaten dinner yet. And to be quite honest with you, when I came home, I was crying a little bit. It was like an ugly cry, like out of frustration and aggravation. How annoying this day was. Annoying is definitely the word of the day. Everything that could have annoyed me did. And I came home and I ate a whole sleeve of crackers with some pork wine cheese spread and and some juice and I was supposed to be having shrimp and asparagus and now I don't really want it because I had a lot of crackers and cheese and and he's out there making it because he's just such a great human being but I'll probably maybe have a bowl of cereal really quick and save that shrimp for breakfast I, I mean I don't really care I'm just I'm grumpy and I'm tired and it's been a long day. So anyways, this is Living Proof and it's a nourishing styling cream for your hair. It stops frizz and uh, lightly conditions and it smells so good. And after I put it in my hair, after I wash it and condition it and then I come out and I run it through my hair with my fingers and then brush it out, I smell so good all day my hair I could just sniff it <laughs> all day so thank god it's long because then I can pull it to the front and sniff it if I'm having a moment you know I I do do that with soap too I'll go out and just scout out bars of soap that smell really good and I will hold it in 
my hand and smell it. I have the funniest pictures. My mother and I go down to Rockport quite often. And they have a store down there. I think it's called the Common Crow. And it's like an all natural um, store that, you know, food and, and body products and things like that. And everything's natural. And um, they have the natural soaps and they're like the best scents that you can possibly imagine smelling. And I usually get the oatmeal one, the oatmeal and lemon, I believe. Verbena, 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 Lemon Verbena, I, I think I'm saying that right, and it smells phenomenal, and I will hold that bar of soap in my hand all the way home from Rockport, which is like roughly a little under an hour from where I live, and I will just, I will just smell it, <laughs> I know that I'm weird, I know, you don't even have to tell me, it's fine, I love things that smell good, um, and lavender is one of my favorite scents. I did this. This didn't come in the Fab Fun box, but this is the 100% uh, lavender essential oil. And sometimes I just put a few drops of that in a bottle with some honey and some lemon juice. And I mix it up and I spray that on my face and it smells really good. And it's really soothing for my skin and it firms it right up and tightens it and um, it makes me real happy. I've never used this. Sleep Serum. This did come in the Fab Fun box, one of them, but I've never used it. I wouldn't even know how to say that if I tried. I'm not gonna do, am I really gonna do this stupid hand thing? Because I, it makes me crazy when people, when people do that. I mean, I know that it really does help with um, focusing on the thing, but when people do this with their hand, I'm like, I want to high five them. Is that normal? Because most of the time I want to like high five my camera <laughs> when they're doing that. I want to be like, okay, high five to you too. But I, so I don't think you can see it real good. But this is it. I've never used it yet. So I don't know what it does. To be quite honest with you. And this. Okay. Now this I got from TJ Maxx. Um, sorry my camera's dying. Um, This I got from TJ Maxx. By my son's work down in Raleigh. And... I love this. And this was on clearance for $3. And this, by far, is my favorite, 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 favorite thing I've ever found to put on my face. It's the Rose Hip Peel Off Mask. And it's nourishing, replenishing, and stimulating. And it sure is. I've even put this on my son, and he absolutely loves it. And it's kind of hysterical when we're both peeling off our masks. Because it hurts like a son of a gun son of a gun and but it feels amazing afterwards and it feels amazing when it's on because it firms up so tight and um my skin is glowing after but this is seriously my favorite and this is from Dr. Wellness and it was a really big bottle I don't know what the original price of it was but when I picked it up it was only three dollars on clearance so I'm about it and when I go to either Marshall's, TJ Maxx, which I frequent those stores normally quite often because they're right next to my son's work when I'm picking them up and dropping them off, I normally put around in there for a second or two. I always go to the clearance cosmetic area and um, I find some really cool stuff over there. Really, really cool stuff. And this actually came and I didn't like, I, I like this little this little um, uh, rubber, I don't know what it's called, guys. I Listen, I am not a makeup guru, skin treatment guru. If I smell it and it smells good and I try it and it makes a difference, then I keep using it. If not, then I just toss it. This came with this. 
and this. So these three things came together in a package that I found at TJ Maxx for $2. And I'm glad it was only $2 because I didn't really care for it when I used it a couple of times. And um, one of them is an anti-aging gel face mask. 15-minute um, therapy. It's from Global Beauty Care. And this is, pour, the blue one is Pore Refining Gel Face Mask. Um, I didn't care for either one of them, but I love this little spreader. This little spreader, whatever it's called, spreader. Um, but I didn't really like these, so I didn't really use them too much. So, that's my stuff. That's my stuff in my little bucket. And then my BFF, my BFFFF. And I know I talk about her quite a bit because she's like the coolest chick on the planet. Um, I have a lot of great friends though, to be quite honest with you. My Jessica is my soulmate, my sister, like I said. And, <coughs> sorry, God do I miss her. She's been living 1,500 miles away from me now for, um, for I, I think we're going on 17 years. She left me. She left me. She moved to Florida. She started a life, a family, um, you know, career, all that stuff. So I'm up north. She's down south. And um, we still were closer, you know, now I can say even than we were when we were in person. We talk every day, a thousand times a day. But she bought me a couple of things. And one thing hasn't come in yet, but I did get something from her today. And this was from this company, Sun, Sunch, Sunch, S-U-N-S-H. Um, she ordered it for me and had it shipped to my house for my wedding. And it came with this cute little card. Oh, I don't know how to get this to focus, guys. Do I really have to do that hand thing? Don't tell me that I do. It says, be bright, sunny, and positive. Spread the seeds of happiness. Rise, shine, and hold your head high. And then it came with this cute... Let me see if I can line them all up correctly. Because um, the one thing is I thought that they all came um, together, like intertwined within each other and was like one solid bracelet but they actually came all individual and you kind of just have to put them on the way that you want them to look on your wrist and wrist I can't talk what is the matter with me this Monday has really it's wiped my vocabulary it's wiped out my information on my phone it hasn't allowed me to post videos i came home my remote controls didn't work i didn't have no more batteries i couldn't listen to music i mean come on give me a break so three bracelet uh this bracelet it came with all these are all separate um they're like little friendship bracelets and you you do that like tightening with the like little tie uh, to tighten and loosen it. I can't remember what it's called. I'm not eight anymore, so I don't really know how to explain it. But I love it. I think it's beautiful. And it looks exactly like the picture that was on Amazon. And it has my sunflower on it for my wedding. So I'm going to wear this on my wrist for my wedding. From my BFF. Oh, and on the back it says, always and forever you've got this. When you're feeling anxious, use this bracelet to breathe and focus. You're strong enough to make it through because you're amazing in everything you do. Strength. I love that. That's beautiful. And it has taken a lot of strength to get through this craziness of having a wedding, then not having a wedding, then replanning a wedding, um, and getting everything together. So that's my story. And I'm sticking to it. And look at, look at this bun. This is, and believe it or not, my hair last, last year was past my hiney. And um, it was about midway down on my honey. I've had long hair my entire life. And um, I cut it off about to the middle of my back. 
and now it's already grown so much um, that, you know, all you can really do with it is put it up in a bun. I mean, when my hair is down, it kind of makes me cuckoo. I don't want it in my face. Well, I can definitely see why, um, I can definitely see why people make longer videos because I feel like I've been sitting here for five minutes and it's already 20 minutes and 26 seconds. How come time doesn't fly like this when I'm cleaning the toilet? I mean, I feel like I'm in the bathroom for an hour and a half and it's like five minutes when I'm cleaning the toilet, the sink, the floor, the shower, and all that stuff. And I've been in there sweating to death for about an hour. That's not fair. That is not fair. So that's it. I can smell garlic and I can hear him chopping at the counter. He usually cooks because he's good like that. I can cook and my food does come out good, but I hate cooking. So luckily he loves to cook and he is a cook and he enjoys it very much. And even after his 12 hour days, he comes home and prepares dinner for our family. And I love him for that. And I do pitch in, I do help out, I do everything else. Let's not, let's not, you know, forget that. I do do everything else. And uh, he works hard and cooks for us and takes care of us and is a great dad and a great husband. And I can't wait to share my life with him. Um, we'll continue to share my life with him because I've already been with him for so long. So that's it. I won't bore you guys to death. I just wanted to show you a couple of things. I wanted to relax and say goodnight to everybody. Today has been a lot to take in and I'm not looking forward to another day like this. So I'm hoping that tomorrow is going to set out on a much different foot. I hope you guys liked the wreath. I had all of the stuff spread out nice so that you guys could see the material that I was going to use for it. You didn't get to see any of that because the first video didn't post. So what am I going to do? I mean, I, I can't do nothing about it now, right? So that's over and done with, but at least you got to see the end result. I hope you guys have a good night. Monday's done. Let's look forward to Saturday. It's coming back. It's coming. Or at least Friday afternoon. It's coming back. We can celebrate that too. So I will talk to you guys soon. And hopefully um, the week will commence in a positive, happy way. And it won't be annoying for any of us going forward. All right. Have a good night. Bye.